to help the world is our duty. Part two of three on between master and disciples, given in English on December twenty eighth, two thousand and nineteen, in Newland Ashram, Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Sometimes you think you are helping master, but you never know, huh? You might be helping yourself. Yeah, it comes out sooner or later. Yeah, even if it doesn't come out, you know, if you do good things, you have good results. Yeah, good merit, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm telling you.、Mm. So actually, I'm thanking you from the human standpoint, okay? But in the spiritual sense, you really have to thank me, okay? Because、mm. you have a chance to do a great job. Best job in the world. Yes. Yeah. So go and thank me then, huh? Come and thank your mom. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Good. I'm just telling you logically, spiritually only, but I don't really. Care if you thank me or not, as long as you work for the world, you have your own merit and your upliftment, and I thank you for that. I thank you for helping yourself through helping the world. Yeah, that you are wise enough to do that, that you're good-hearted enough to to do that. Okay? Yeah. So we thank each other back and forth. It's useless. Just <laughs> just do your job. Okay? Devotedly. And unconditionally, that's the best for you. If you want rewards, then you won't have it. Maybe you have it, but in different way. It will not even be helpful to you if you have that kind of reward. It might even be、uh, harmful. You know. <laughs> Remember the story about the lotus pond. One of the practitioners, a also a very rich family. I don't know if he's French or not. I forgot. And he went out and found a lotus pond, and then practiced every day together with the other family members. Also want to join him, and then two servants also want to join him to serve them every day. And then every day she bring out lotus roots、uh, for everybody to eat. And then one day the Maya made it disappear. Not Maya, but、uh, Shakya got, huh? So the big brother didn't say anything, but get thinner and thinner and sick, and so everybody. Just want that he is not the one who steal the lotus root from the big brother. Remember, all of them one by one. Even though the big brother didn't blame anybody, but to clear their name, they went out one by one and swore, saying, "Whoever took that lotus root from the big brother, may he have a lot, a lot of children, good wife, good household, richness, and <laughs> big house." Remember. <laughs> And then and the other one said, "Oh, may he had a lot of whatever you know. The worldly people think that is good, yeah, all the good things. But in the world only, in the worldly way, everybody thinks, 'Oh, how could that be? You know, that they wish him so well, not really well. You know, you have wife, you have kids. It's like binding chain, yeah, and big house or richness is really also troublemaker, yeah." Even if I'm not attached to all this, but it's also a troublemaker for me. Huh? <laughs> I have to wear it. <laughs> I have to take care of it. <laughs> I feel like it's a lot of waste of time. But I just treat it like a, a walking or standing meditation. Yeah, with the five names, and that comforts me a little bit. <laughs> Otherwise, anything is a nuisance. Anything in this world is nuisance. Wow, this world is really scary. You know, the more you know about it, the more scary. And、uh, lucky that you also escaped. You didn't get the bad influence, and you're still strong.、And、that's something good already. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Because sometimes you live with bad people, you might get influenced by it also, huh?、No? Yeah. It's not bad, but maybe if you're not. You're not wise enough. You might have 
things that rub off on you, huh? Like for example, when I was young, I was more more intelligent. Like my mother, she took honey, you know, so and they believe it's good for the body, but I never took it. She gave me some. I said I don't want it. It comes from the the bees' uh, saliva, and <laughs> yeah. I said I was thinking yuck, you know. I never took it. And milk also, because my mother didn't have milk. She was sick afterwards, so we have to feed them, my little sister, with uh, cow's milk. Eh? Yeah, whatever we had those years, you know? Yeah. And I was very proud. I always say, oh, I took mother's milk. You take milk from animals. <laughs> and I never drank milk when I was a kid. I didn't like it. Whatever left over for my younger sister, my cousin loved it. I always call her over and she took care. Yeah. But I always think, oh, it came from an animal's stomach. Even when I was very little, I knew that already. But when I went to Europe, you know, everybody around me drank milk, eat cheese, and then I forgot what I felt. And they give it to me when I visit them and all that. And then slowly, slowly, you, you just took some, you know, without thinking. But luckily, I did not really like it that much. Yeah. Only some occasions. Even then, it was a bad influence. I knew when I was a kid, I did not take it. And when I grown up, studying England, civilized society, French, and took it. I even took honey as well. Put in the tea, everyone did that. It's a high soul, you know? <laughs> they even make a very special uh, stick to dip into the honey, like, twisting it, and then pump into your cup. Oh, that looks very, very sophisticated. <laughs> you know? And if you didn't do it, you feel like you're a country woman. I didn't know. Little I, did I know that, that, that I would be a cave woman, even worse, later on. <laughs> so I shouldn't have cared about, you know. You live in a society surrounded by others, you get influenced. So. Yeah, and I also didn't know that cows had been, you know, cooked up in such a small, dark environment and starving the calves and oh, all that. I did not know, because nobody knows in the society. They're hidden, they're hidden from view, yeah. It's not the people who take the milk or the cheese that are evil. It's the practice of, of raising cattle and, and forcing them to impregnate them again and again, you know, w make them losing all their cows and bones and starving the calves. These are evil practices. Not even the poor people who work in that factory. They also need to work. They do not think much anymore. They are forced to. Maybe they need money or something for their children. But it's the idea of it. The people who make them do it. The practice of, of raising animals in such a cruel way and, and torture them and all that. They are evil really evil. Just like people who take drugs and all that, they, they are not wrong. They've just been lured into it, and they did not know. It's the people who sell them, who force them to drink, and who kind of cheated them into their addiction and all that, they are wicked. Knowing and still doing it, that's wicked. Yeah. Enabling people to do it, just to be well off for themselves, that's wicked. That's evil. The practice of animal industry is evil. Not the employees in there. They, they blind themselves, they dull themselves so that they can do the job, just to earn money. Maybe in such a remote country where they keep animals, they have no other job to do. Hard to find work, so they just have to do it, but it's those who are behind them, okay? Just to make money out of the suffering of animals and, and employees. They are terrible. They are evil. Evil incarnate. Ah, terrible. The thing is, they hide it all from the public eye. You know, children, grown up, just get used to it. Eating meat and fish, they don't even know anything. Hmm? So that's why, you know, you see some in uh, document films, the animal-loving activists, vegan activists, that just stand there and let people see something on the computer, these kind of scenes, and they are crying and, you know, aghast and feeling so shocked. They really did not know. That's why it's our job to, to, to let them know. Eh? Just show your friends all this stuff. Yeah. 
Maybe they don't want to watch SMTV because they think, oh, is there not my type? Show them this kind of film. Send it to their computer. Let them watch it. Okay? Don't be afraid. Don't be shy anymore. Just do anything to help the animals, okay? As long as you're not harming anybody. It's our job, okay? It's our duty to help our a human brother and sister, okay? And no need to be proud or anything and demand any special treatment. I do that because uh, I do, okay? But it's not to expect, okay? <laughs> ah, forgot. I have some money for you. Money makes the world go round, the world go round, the world go round. <gasps> what is all that big eyes? It's nothing. <laughs> oh, it's not as much as that one. It's different. Just happy, uh, mm, happy, what? Yeah. Sun calendar New Year. And don't expect again Lunar New Year. Ah. <laughs> okay, go give to everybody. You even have one. Is that enough here? Yes. yes. <laughs> the children give some of, it, some of it to them, okay? So, so they put in their piggy bank or whatever they want to do. Okay, everybody have one, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah share it, yeah. Yeah, this is from your mom, <laughs> uh, your unmarried mom, your single mom, no, many kids, <laughs> single mother, a lot of kids. Take one, uh, SMTV people, okay? The one who did not have yesterday, please also take one. One each, okay? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. I could give you more, I should, I suppose I could, but that's okay for now, huh? Yeah. You're not working for money, you work for food, right? Yeah. <laughs> food is all you have. <laughs> I always tell my the inner staff, I say, you work for food, and food you have all the time, anytime. <laughs> No, they don't just work for food, they have their pocket money, they have anything they want delivered to their house. Yeah, they have new clothes anytime they want, they have warm blankets anytime they want, they have new socks <laughs> anytime they want, okay? Anything, yeah. And they have all the equipment they need, okay? That's all you need in life. And they have cars, they can also drive here, drive there. At home, even you work, you still have only that much, right? Yes. Yeah, you have your clothes, your food, and your car, right? If you have your car. Not everybody can afford a car even, yeah? So you are very well off, I think. And have insurance, everything. Yeah, I pay for everything. I pay for the dentist, uh, the vitamins, their socks, their shoes, their hats, their oh, whatever, <laughs> except a girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> Anything else they have. Yeah, we better work for the world, okay? Not for oneself, but you, if you already have family, just stay there, huh? Okay? Yeah. I don't encourage you to divorce or come to work for SMTV or anything. Just do what you can, huh? Do what you can as a householder or oh, as a worker outside, just do what you can. <laughs>